I am literally obsessed with that song right now. I can't, like, in my car, that's what you hear. When I'm walking on campus and I have my AirPods in, that's what I'm listening to. I'm just walking down campus like, good enough. Hello everybody, I am going to be doing a get ready with me today. Finally, a makeup video. I know some of you guys are asking me for other content other than like food, but it's just, the food content, it's just, it comes so easy and it's just, it's simple and you know what I mean. Anyway, so we're doing a get ready with me. I am going to go to my friend's birthday party today. She's having like a cowboy theme party. She's turning 21. Ooh, ooh. She was like the youngest of the group so we can finally like go all out together if we want to or like get drinks and stuff. But guys, okay, let me start my makeup. Um, I need to moisturize my face. My skin feels so dry. Actually, I just looked at my face. I need to pluck, so we're gonna do that first and then I'm gonna moisturize. Okay, so I actually think I'm gonna do my hair first, but I want to prep my skin. I pluck my mustache. So now I'm gonna do just the skincare and it could soak in while I do my hair. I'm not sure how I wanna do my hair yet, but I think, I'm kinda thinking I want to do waves, like not curly waves, but the the way waves, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so for skin prep, I'm just going to start off with a moisturizer. I'm just using the CeraVe moisturizer to moisturize my skin, and then I'm gonna use a hyaluronic acid for extra hydration. And now I'm just using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I'm just gonna do it with a stippling brush to apply. I don't know why, it feels like so much more luxurious when you apply your products with a brush than um, with your hands. But massaging it in with your hands does feel nice because you can give yourself a massage and wake up your skin. So, I mean, it's just personal preference. Now my skin prep is all done. I literally just moisturize, use hyaluronic acid and lip balm. And I think I'm just doing my hair off camera. Baby, you wet, you know you Okay, so I finished my hair finally. I feel like it took forever. Usually I have like the actual crimper, but I didn't have that because I'm not home, so I just used a curling iron and did that thing. Finally, moving on to the makeup. It already starts at 5 and it's currently 4.56. Um, but that's okay because I knew I was gonna be late. I already said that I'm ahead. Plus, not really many people are gonna show up. It's kind of like a family and friend function. So you know, it's fine. It's fine if I'm not on time. Like, it's it's a party. Parties are meant to be late too. First, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I just use a brown pencil. This is the next one in the color taupe. Okay, so I just finished my eyebrows. I concealed them now. I'm prepping my eyelids so I could do my eyeshadow. I think I wanna do like a pink glittery look, maybe with like a smoky liner, or I might just end up doing like a smoky liner with just plain glitter. Tell me why I just heard Josh talking to his friend and I guess like he was worried about him or something so he's checking up on him and he said that he was at a chicken fight. I'm like sir isn't that illegal? Mm -hmm. And it's like the randomest thing out of all things like a chicken fight. You're at a chicken fight. Okay so now I'm just gonna apply this Stila glitter. It's one of the ones that comes in the pots. This is really really freaking old like I got this when I first started trying to do my makeup and that was like what 2016 it's it smells fine it should be fine it'll be fine it's fine oh i forgot to wear my eyelid okay so now i'm gonna go in with a nude color so the friends birthday party that i'm going to um there's like a group of us from high school we all met in high school and she actually has an older sister and she is the one that we all knew first and when it came time for the little sister to finally go to high school um she was like a freshman and we all met her and we just became friends so ever since then we all kind of like been a little group so ever since then we've been friends and they always throw these really fun parties for their birthdays or graduation whatever um, and their family is Mexican, so you know they like to drink. Literally every time they have a party, I'm drinking. We're all drinking. Everybody's drinking, we're taking shots, we're having fun, and we're blacking out. So basically, that is the goal for tonight, 
to black out and to survive but have fun mainly so now i'm gonna go in with the glitter i'm just gonna pat it on top of my eyelid actually never mind i regret it so when she first told us about her party she sent us an invitation and it was cowboy themed so i was like what the hell am i gonna wear i don't have very much cowboy clothing items so i was thinking about buying boots like some botas some mexican ones but they are really expensive and i probably won't won't wear them again if i do it'd be like one or two times so i just resorted to wearing some bootcut jeans and then i bought super last minute i bought this cowboy not not cowboy a cow print long sleeve crop top from amazon and it just got here yesterday so i haven't even tried it on i hope that it fits and i <laughs> we're just gonna have to see okay so now i am doing my foundation i have to really simple with the eyes i normally don't do much uh but i'm using the nars creamy ready concealer as my foundation and i know it looks dark like it doesn't match my skin color but it's just because my face is lighter than the rest of my body since i do tan and i'm gonna mix it with a lighter concealer too so it doesn't look so orange so i'm blending my foundation let me tell you guys what happened to my instagram some of you guys probably have noticed but my instagram's gone like if you try looking up my instagram it's just instagram user or maybe nothing will just pop up but basically what happened <laughs> Somebody hacked me and they tried to scam me. I went on my Instagram one day and it started glitching and then it finally like popped up and it said something like your account is in violation of community guidelines or something like that. Your Instagram has been disabled. And I know that I did not do anything to get my Instagram disabled. So I told Josh and he was like, yeah, you got hacked. So a couple days after that, I got a TikTok comment like on one of my videos, somebody commented and it said, $50 for your account back <laughs> The audacity this person had to really comment on my tiktok and ask me for $50 for my account back I let a couple days go by to try to get my account back through like the normal way like the Instagram way Because when you get your account disabled, it'll say it'll say whatever happened And then it'll say like if you think this was a mistake fill this form out So I did I filled the form out and it sends something to your email basically saying like well we usually respond within like a day if for some reason we can't verify your identification then after 30 days your account will be permanently deleted and i'm pretty sure it's been 30 days so my account i think is gone anyways i messaged the guy and we're going back and forth back and forth and i'm telling him like i don't think you can get my account back like how do i know you're gonna get my account back i don't want to just send a random person money if there's no guarantee so he was like, I can get your account back. Like if I got your account banned, I can get your account back because it's so much easier. So I was like, all right. I thought about what I was gonna do and I was like, I'm not gonna send this guy $50. So I asked him to make a deal with me. I said, I'll send you 25 and then the rest after. And he was like, okay, sounds good. We could even do 25 and then a shout out. So I like, okay, per, I'm gonna do the shout out because that's free. So that's what we did. I sent him $25 on Cash App. I was so hesitant, but I did it because I really wanted my account back. And he was trying, he was trying, asking me for some information, like the email that I had used and the phone number that I had used. And I was so scared to give him any information, but he didn't do anything. Like, he, I think he was literally trying to get my account back, but in the end, he couldn't do it. So he blocked me and apparently said that he blocked me because he didn't want to tell me that he couldn't get my account back now i am basically out of that instagram account i lost all those followers and all the people that i was following and i don't care that that much about the followers like obviously it's nice because it had 16k which isn't a lot compared to a lot of other creators but that is a lot for me and i had a lot of stuff on there like i had a lot of posts on there well not a lot but posts that i didn't want deleted and now i don't have access to them so if anybody has my old pictures please send them to my new instagram so i can maybe repost them because they're not in my camera roll anymore okay so now i'm just blending on my bronzer i already put contour on i just use the fenty matchsticks in the color i think it's like mocha or something like that i lied it's amber suede and my 
bronzer shade is Truffle, both in the Fenty matchsticks. Did you guys watch the Brianna concert, by the way? Like, football, football, who? I don't even know who was playing, but I know I had to watch Brianna. After the halftime show, literally all I see on my TikTok for you page is the marshmallows. You guys know what I'm talking about if you are on TikTok at all right now because they're all over everybody's FYP. But those dancers slayed, like they ate that choreography. They did so freaking bomb. You guys don't know, I think their um, choreographer is called Paris Global and they are the royal family, which is a very, very well-known dance group. And as soon as I saw the halftime show, I, for some reason, had a feeling I was like, they kind of remind me of like the royal family because I've seen them perform, not live, but I've seen videos of them perform and just like their synchronicity, is that the word? Their synchronicity is just on point and like, I don't think anybody does it like they do it. Some people thought that the halftime show was mid and it lacked, but honestly, Rihanna has never really been the type to throw big performances or big productions. She just goes up there, it looks bomb and slate. I freaking love Rihanna. So now I'm just gonna apply a glossy cloud paint for my blush. It is a color puff. Do you guys remember when everybody hated blush like in 2016 or maybe it was before that but literally everyone didn't like blush. Nobody wore blush. It was only contour, highlight, that's what people cared about. And looking back, at that our makeup didn't look that bad but it was definitely missing something and ever since blush came into my life i just can't go without it i was literally covering everything i'm doing and i hope that i wasn't doing that the whole time i feel like my concealer looks a little bit too yellow so i'm just gonna add a little bit of that blush and bring it up into my concealer all right i brought you guys a little bit closer i just I was just messing with it and I feel like this looked better. I'm just applying my inner corner highlight. I already applied one eye and look at the difference that makes. Inner highlight is like one of my favorite things to do, especially at the end. It just makes everything go together. So now I'm going to set my face. I like to use those triangle sponges from Amazon in the Shida Beauty powder. Okay, we're pretty much done now. I'm just gonna apply my lip liner. Makeup Forever lip liner in up and up and downtown. This is one of my like favorite, favorite lip liners. Lip liner is seriously a game changer. I feel so like incomplete without it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Blend everything towards the middle and then add a nude color. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the color Sand. Last but not least, I'm just gonna put some setting spray on. That is the finished look guys. I might do something different with my hair, like put a little bit of it up or something, but that is pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta hurry up and go cause it's like six o'clock already. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys wanna see next and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.